when you are surrounded by witchcraft when you are surrounded by witchcraft what would you do when you are surrounded by witchcraft when you are ways everything you are doing is is influenced by witchcraft what would you do what are you going to do when you are surrounded by witchcraft that's why i want to talk to you so that when you are if you if you are surrounded by the witchcraft how to come out what to do number one the best thing you can do to yourself and your family is to give the best sacrifice to god when you are surrounded by the enemy the first weapon you are weapon you are weapon you are weapon is to give the sacrifice to god if you if you are being attacked you cannot deal with the witchcraft with empty hand you can't go to deal with the, the camp the camp of of the enemy of witchcraft with with the empty hand that one it will not work that is the truth that is the truth if you are going to attack the witchcraft if you are surrounded by witchcraft and the only weapon that you want to use to bring them down and to destroy them is to give sacrifice is to give sacrificial offering to destroy witchcraft i'm going to lead from the book of judges 6 verse 25 if you think it is Christian who is talking or a preacher is the one who is talking about this, this is the scripture. This is the word of God. And God himself is the one who, who told the, his servant to do a sacrifice so that to destroy and dismantle the witchcraft power, the witchcraft altar. You can destroy the witchcraft altar when you go to attack him, when you are going to attack them by sacrifice. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty, I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus over my life and the people periscope and the people in, in prayer line. Lord, my Father, I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. My Father, my God, let your blood of Jesus move in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I want to honor you, Jesus. I want to glorify your name by the power in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I lift up your name, God. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family and my children with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family, Periscope family, and prayer line, and, you, and, and all, of, all, all, of, all of those who are listening to me in YouTube, in stream, wherever they are hearing my voice, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have said number one to attack a witchcraft uh, camp when you are surrounded by witchcraft. What to do when you are surrounded by witchcraft? What to do when you are surrounded by witchcraft? Is to give sacrificial offering. Is to offer sacrifice to God. The book, I'm going to read from the book of Churches 6, verse 25 to 27. The book of Churches 25, Churches 6, verse 25 to 27. The Bible says, And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take the father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and, and throw down the altar of Baal that the father had and cut them down, down the grove that is by it. God told Gideon to take a young bullock and throw down the altar of Baal. God told Gideon to take a bullock from the father's house to go and throw down to sacrifice the God to sacrifice, to destroy the altar. You cannot destroy the altar of, of witchcraft empty handed. You cannot attack the witchcraft by empty handed. I'm telling you the truth. If you want to defeat the witchcraft, you have to give a sacrificial offering. It is when you can pray the prayer that you will go straight to the heart of witchcraft and destroy them. People have been attacked by witchcraft every time, everywhere. 
you are suffering because of a witch. A witchcraft is the enemy number, is the enemy of God number one. Therefore, as I pray for you right now, by the power in the blood of Jesus, let a very occultic, occultic power assigned against your life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command every occultic, occultic power assigned against you. I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Look at verse 26. The Bible says, Hallelujah. The Bible says, And build an altar unto the Lord that God upon the top of this rock in the other place and take the second bull lock and offer a panting of sac sacrifice with the wood of graven which thou shalt cut down. Now you see, it's, it, God is asking to take the second bull lock to, 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 to burn, to offer as a pant sacrifice. Why did God demand sacrifice? Sacrifice. He's asking Gideon. Now, then Gideon took ten men of his servants and did as the Lord has said unto him. And Gideon took ten men to help him. And Gideon took ten men of his servants and he did as the Lord has said unto him. And so it was because he feared his father's household and the men of the city that he could not do it by day that he did it by night. So Gideon, he was not alone. He said, this work is too much. I need strong men to help me because if I go by myself, I can't finish. This man will find me and kill me. So Gideon took men, his servants, and went. They sacrificed the, the bullock. You know, the, the, the bullock. The, the bullock, a bull. A young bull. Strong young bull. Gideon cannot slaughter a young bull by himself. He needs help. So he went and called these people, and they did it at night. At night. That is when they did, they, they, they destroy the altar of witchcraft. And I pray that the first weapon that you will do is to sacrifice after sacrifice, and then go and destroy the altar of witchcraft. That is, that is number one. Number one is sacrifice. Number two is now you have power without fear because God has received your sacrifice offering to go to, the, to attack the the camp of the enemy, the camp of witchcraft. That is that is how you can destroy the witchcraft when you are surrounded by witchcraft. That's how you will deal with them. If you are, if everything you are working is not working for you, you need to do a sacrifice, a sacrificial offering. This is the biblical. This is what God says. You cannot go to attack witchcraft altar empty-handed. That is a lie. That is a lie I'm telling you. Go to any preacher, go to any deliverance minister or any man of God or, or a prophet, a true prophet of God. He will not go to attack witchcraft at a, a altar empty-handed. That's why the Bible says when you go to see a prophet, don't go empty-handed. People, they have no respect. You go to the, all, the, the man of God, the prophet of God, empty-handed. No respect. The Bible said no. You have to sacrifice so that you can destroy the witchcraft. This is what God told Gideon. Let's look at another scripture. Isaiah, Isaiah 19 verse 3. The Bible says, Isaiah 19 verse 3. The Bible says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fall in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counselor thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirit and to the wizards. The, the spirit of Egypt, they shall fall. The spirit of witchcraft, they shall fall. God says he will destroy their counselor. You pray the prayer that you will destroy their counselors. You destroy their leaders. You destroy their, their team leaders. You destroy them in the name of Jesus. You destroy their witches because you have power. Jesus has given us power. Now you go there, you destroy their counselors. You prophesy against them. The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel 11, prophesy against them. You destroy them. You go there and destroy them. When you are surrounded by, by witchcraft, 
the, the second thing is to destroy the, the, destroy their leaders they destroy their their team leaders destroy them command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus paralyze them confuse them confuse them command them by the power and the blood of Jesus you the leaders of witchcraft you the the president of witchcraft you the leader the the the, the counselors of witchcraft I am coming to you. I destroy you. I destroy your ways. I destroy your activities. I destroy everything you are planning tonight in Jesus' name. It was midnight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I fire back every arrow that has been fired to any one of you. Any arrow that is fired to you, I fire them back. Every arrows of witchcraft, arrows of witchcraft, I fire you back to the sender in Jesus' name. Witchcraft attacking your business, witchcraft attacking your children, witchcraft attacking you with sickness and diseases. I command that sickness to divert and go back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. This is God says he will destroy them. Cancel us. So you take the authority. Remember you have been given power and authority. You go there as a child, as a true child of God. You don't have to fear anything. You destroy their leaders. You destroy their counselors. You paralyze them. You call, let their, let their counselors turn to be foolish. You command their activities to be foolishness. Let their way be destroyed. Look at what David prayed. David prayed that let their way be darkened. Let the angels of God jest them. Command the angels of God jest them. That's number two. Number three. Revelation 21 verse 8. Revelation the book of Revelation 21, verse 8, the Bible says, But the fearful and unbelieving, unbelieving, but the fearful and unbelieving, unbelieving and abnormal, and the murderers, and the wall mongers, and the sorcerers, and adulterers, and all and liars shall they have, have their part in the lake. Of which burnt with the fire and pull and brimstone, which is the second death. You see, all these sorcerers, all this witchcraft, all these uh, murderers, wherever they are, they are liars. Hallelujah! Praise be the name of Jesus. Know that they are liars. They are all liars. The Bible calls them. They are all liars. They turned up the truth. They have no truth. They are liars. And they are waiting for the fire. Hell fire is waiting for them. Therefore, remember they are liars. They are not, they, they, they are magic. They are liars. Therefore, you destroy their lies. You command every power, anything magic they are doing. You destroy the every lies they, they have. So that they cannot lie to anybody. You destroy their lies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father. Yes, Lord, I, you command their callous power to cross land and die. You command their, 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 their you command their callous power to cross land and die. You command their, their roots, the roots where they are passing. You command it to cross land and die. You close that roots by fire. You set the fire on their roots where they are passing. In the name of Jesus, because you have, you have, they are liars. So you close them and then they will not have a blessed to pass. In the book of Leviticus 20, verse 6, the Bible says, the book of Leviticus 20, verse 6, the Bible says, And the soul that, that turneth after such as I have, have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a warring after them, I will even set my face against them, against that soul, and I will cut him off from among his people. This is what God is saying. God says, if any soul turn to such a familiar spirit, such a witchcraft, people who are turning themselves to witchcraft, the Lord himself is going to cut them off. Therefore, you cut them off. You cut them off. Break their link with the familiar spirit in your father's house and your mother's house. Break their altar with the arm of God. Command their beat, trap, and net to swallow them. Break their bad luck and chains and feathers. 
That's what you do. You command their ways to be destroyed because God has said he will cut them off in the name of Jesus Christ. I am going to pray. Masinigan prayer bullet by the power and the blood of Jesus. You pray like this. Let, let life chalk tons begin to grow on their traveling roads in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that let, let, let the tons, let that roads where they are passing start growing tons. Let, let, let the fire, let that bridge where they are passing to be cut into pieces, pieces so that they cannot be able to, to pass. Let their wings to be cut off. Let their wings to be broken in the name of Jesus. Let their traveling roots of your of household which have become their burying places in Jesus' name. You command them, the roots, the places they are traveling, let it to, to turn to burying ground in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is God. Destroy, ask the angels of God to chase them. Ask the angels of God to chase them according to the, the book of uh, uh, Psalm 37. Psalm 37 said, let the angels of God chase them. Ask the angels of God to start chasing them. Ask God to release his angels to, to chase them. When you are surrounded by the witchcraft, you ask angels of God to chase them from you, from your medicine, from your business, from your work, from your church, wherever they are operating, anywhere they are operating. Ask the angel of God to chase them in the name of Jesus. Yes, let witchcraft root constructed against you become dark and slavery. That's what the Bible says. Let their root become dark and slavery so that they cannot see. Let their, their eyes be blind. You command them, call blind spirit. You know, Paul himself, he printed somebody, Apostle Paul, in the book of Acts. He commanded that man to be called blind, and the man become blind. So you command the blind to, to come up, to fall upon them. And let their eyes to be blind permanently in the name of Jesus. If this witchcraft, they don't want to leave you. If you are surrounded by them, command Command their blind to fall upon their eyes and let them grow blind so that they cannot be able to see in the name of Jesus. That is the weapon that you can use. You can use those which, which, and it is going to work very well. Command them to be crippled. Command them to receive an attack and, and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Command them to receive, receive, receive strokes because they want to, you to die. They want to destroy you. You don't have to choke with them when you are surrounded by witchcraft. Witchcraft is the biggest enemy number one of God. Therefore, if God himself hates them, he said, let them suffer, suffer not the witch to live. Let them die. God has sentenced them to death. So when you are surrounded, what can you do? You issue a curse against them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God, we thank you, Father. Release thunder of God. Began to scatter traveling. This thunder. Let the thunder strike on their ways. Let the thunder of God fall upon their camp where they are meeting. Let the thunder of God. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Jehovah. Glorious God, I honor you, Father. Lay any witchcraft root constructed against, against, against you. Become dark and slavery in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, command their communication, the system they are using, computer, cell phone. You know they attack cell phone, they attack prayer line, they attack computers. You, it, you change it fast, fast, because they do to us. Now you, you command their communication. Let their communication be break down. Let them be break down. Let them lose their direction. When their communication is being break down, they cannot be able to communicate. And this is what they hate so much. They, they, they attack you. They attack your cell phone. They attack their computer. They attack everything. And they are just lies. They are liars. They are, they are, they are just using magic and, and evil powers to attack your computer, to attack everything. And it is working for you. What about you, child of God? 
destroy their communication, destroy their ways, destroy their, their head. They damage your head. Now already their head be destroyed in the name of Jesus. That wisdom, that brain, that knowledge they have to operate, let that knowledge be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Their knowledge be destroyed and be removed from their head in the name of Jesus Christ. That's how you pray. You don't have to worry. Just pray and ask Almighty God to destroy their head and their brain in the name of Jesus Christ. When David was praying very dangerous prayer to them, he prayed that he, because he understood how dangerous, how dangerous they are. If he did not pray such a prayer, David could be defeated. He was asking God, God do them do this. He was asking God to do them. It was not David. Everything you are doing is to ask God to do for you. Ask God, 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 I want you to cut off their communication. Cut every system they are using. Cut them off. Shut it out in the name of Jesus. Set their, set their, their, their altar fire. Set their altars fire. Let your angel just test them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, you ask God to confuse them. You know God is the one who confused. When 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 in the in the in the, in the when the, the, the people were building in the in the in the Babylon, uh, uh, the, the, the tower of Babylon, the tower of the 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 tower of of of, uh, of uh, Babylon, is it Babylon or out of where? The, the God Himself confused the, the, their tongue. Yes, yes, sister. You remember the tower of what? You remember the tower where the tower they were building? Yeah, the tower of Babel. Yes. Yes. That that was that was confused. They confused their tongue, and they were not able to communicate. That's what you do. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Uh, yes, we bless God because that's how you deal with the witchcraft. You command them, you command them to be confused. You command them that you command them let your language be confused. You will not have language to talk in the name of because they have language. They have the tongue they communicate. So you command that, that language to be ceased from their mouth in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. Every evil communication against you fall down and die. Wherever they communicate, they communicate against you, let them die. Just you stand against it. You reverse everything they are said against them. That's what the Bible says. It says prophesy against them. Don't worry, don't cry, don't beat yourself. Just reverse everything they are doing. And it will work very well to them. Because they are liars. They are not children of God. They are children of darkness. You are the child of God with the power and authority that you have been given. You have been given. Use the power Jesus has given you. Jesus has said that you will trumpet on serpents and scorpions. Nothing by all means shall hurt you. And which is not dangerous like scorpion and serpent. If the serpent beats you, if a snake beats you, within five minutes you have gone. A witch can give you a chance to, to live a few hours. Before you go. But a, a, a python, when it beats you, you can't survive for, for more, less than five minutes. He have the, God is saying, Jesus says, I've given you power to stomp on them. If you stomp on this, the serpent, it will kill you. But now you have been given power over them. Therefore, you don't have to fear them. You stand against them and you confuse them. You command them, them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Let the terrible fire of God consume their transportation. Our God is a consuming fire. God is a consuming. Ask God because he's a consuming God to consume them. Let God consume them. Let the terrible fire of God enter into their camp and consume them. Yes, the fire of witchcraft will not locate you in Jesus' name. Let the fire of, God, of, of witchcraft turn against them and burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. God himself is a consuming fire. Therefore, because God is a consuming fire, he will ask him, Father, you are a consuming fire. Consume them. Consume them by fire. Consume them by fire. Consume them by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, you ask God to order the of God against every witchcraft. 
transportation. You just ask God to burn tempest fire to burn the, the to burn their transportation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I want to thank you, Jesus. I know that you are able God. You are able God, my God, to destroy every activities of witchcraft. When you are surrounded by witchcraft, what do you do? You raise up a prayer. You raise up a prayer warrior. You you must pray more than than before. You you have to set it two to three hours to pray. Yeah? You don't have to cry, you don't have to, to worry. You when you are worrying, when you are sitting down to worry, fear, then you give him power to defeat you. But when you, you feel like that, you, you just set prayer fast, prayer and fasting. That is another strongest weapon. Because the, the devil does not pray. Witchcraft, they don't pray. They only chant and spend time to speak against you. But you, you will pray and ask God. So that they, 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 you will defeat them very well. If you set prayer, whether they like it or not, when they are attacking your prayers, is when you can pray more and more. Yeah? When Daniel, Bethne, and, and Mesekah, the three Hebrews, when they were told that they, sh they should worship the, they, they should worship the image that uh, uh, the Nebuchadnezzar, king of, of Babylon, who raised the image that they, they shall worship, they said, no, we are not going to worship any other god. We are not going to worship your, god, your witches. This man prepared witch idols for the children of God to worship. They said, no. We will not worship that image. And then they, they put a very strong fire to burn them. A fire cannot fire a fire cannot burn another fire. Because God is a consuming fire. How can you a fire burn another fire? The fire was 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 warm and was healthy to the three Hebrews, the three boys. And then Jesus Christ landed there and started kissing them and saying thank you. And he was transforming them. He, he built them. He filled them with the new power. There they, they received power. Now the king, when the king looked at them and saw four people, he said, we thought we said, we thought the three people. Why is that, that we see four people there? And when they look carefully, they saw that this must be the son of God. Now the king degree and said, we would worship the God of, of these three Jews, God of Daniel. We will worship him. And they said, there is really God. That is the God you serve. Not that you run away from witchcraft. You don't have to do that. You have to stand firm and refuse the activities. You refuse and you reverse them. I was praying with a lady. She was going through through difficult time, but she's not giving up. She continues standing firm, and she knows that she, a breakthrough is coming. I like her faith. I like her the way she's strong, and she believes that God is going to deliver. She will defeat the enemy. That's what you need to. When when the witchcraft were writing me a letter, warning me, calling me, and telling me not to pray these prayers because they know how this prayer is dangerous. I pray that God Almighty, wherever they are in the camp, what they are planning, chanting and speaking, let consuming fire of God consume them. Let them be consumed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft, wherever they are, what they are doing to you and your children, your family, let consuming fire burn them to ashes. Let them receive the fire of God and burn them to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Command the, the altar of the constructed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever they are doing, they are wicked uh, constructed. When they are constructing things against you, let the very things that are constructed against you, let it catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God fall upon them and they consume every false religion, every false teaching, every false things they are doing about, about you. Let the consuming fire fall upon them and burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. I pray that God would deliver you. God would deliver you when you are surrounded by the witchcraft. Don't, don't, don't run away. Don't fear them. They are liars. And using magic 
they 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 are they, they are they are useless they only get access because you fear them you stand against these prayers that i'm telling you you will see you will see what is going to happen to them they will fall down physically and die if they cannot repent god is not a, a god is, is not a respect of a person God he hates witchcraft because witchcraft is the enemy number one of God. Therefore, witchcraft are bad. If they cannot repent and cry to God and give their life to God, God has sentences them dead. God has given them dead sentences. Therefore, you don't have to sympathize with them. When you are surrounded by the witchcraft, you stand firm against them. As I said, first of all, you have to sacrifice. You give sacrifice. You give sacrificial offering. That's when you are you have freedom. You have you have you have you have evidence. You are strong that you can meet them. They know if you are not serving God, they know if you don't give your tithes and offering, they know. So they can attack you very well, and the devil will defeat you because you are a thief like them. Hallelujah! Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, God, I thank you, Father. I know that God is good. Yes, I, I want to thank God that God is good. Destroy their mat, mat, magnetic, ma, magnetic effect from the moon against, against your life. Magnetic from the moon. You know they go to the moon and start chanting, looking for the moon when the moon is, is new and when the, the, the moon is, is full. They go there and they start chanting. They chant, they chant, speak, speak. Then you see people are running crazy. There's so much things going. Business is closing down. They chant. You command that man. You, you, you talk to the, the, the moon too. You command you anything programmed in that moon against me by witchcraft. I command them to go back to, to, to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. They know. They know the power of the moon and the power of the sun. That's why David prayed, let the sun not smite me. David refused, the sun cannot smite him. They, they programmed that when you get out, let the atmosphere, let the wind blow on you and destroy you. They programmed, they have their wind. Now the wind of God, they change to be their wind they are using. And you have power to command that wind to turn against them and blow the, them and they destroy them in Jesus' name. Because they are counterfeit, they use things of God against us, and we are children of God. What to do when you are surrounded by witchcraft? Attack their livers. Go to their livers and dry their livers. Let them be dried up, like what Moses did to Egypt. When they, when God God destroyed their livers, God attacks their powers from the sun. Look at the book of Judges, Caesarea. Who was the biggest witch? Who was uh, witching the children of Israel, fighting them, killing them? But when Deborah the prophetess, dear, I see where the, where this Caesarea getting his power. He went. She went there and attacked those powers. Caesarea died like a like a fool. She he died like a woman killed her. Jerry, a woman killed that man. Caesarea. I'm telling you that when you know this. They didn't fear. Jerry did not fear that man said when he ran when she ran when he ran to his to her house, she opened the door and said she, the man asked him ask her give me water. The woman said I will give you milk. Then he, he gave he gave him milk and, and the man went to sleep. That woman went with the hammer and hammered him physically and killed him. The man who was terrifying who was killing the children of Israel. With using witchcraft, using the, star, the sun and, and, and the moon. Then Deborah, when Deborah attacked that, that power, the, the man did not have the power. His, his horse were, were attacked, the heels could not move, the feet could not move. That's what you have to deal with the witchcraft. You don't have to fear them. Deborah did not fear a witch and she was just a woman. She said, this man, I know what to do with you. He, uh, 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 what was it? The, the man, not Gideon, the, the man that was with the, with the Deborah. Hallelujah. Jesus, I thank you, Father. God, I give you all the glory, Jesus. My God, I thank you, Jesus.
God, you are a wonderful Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I, I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to give you the glory, Jesus. You are so good, God. Loving Father, I, I honor you, Jesus. You are a great God. We thank you, Father. Jesus, you are a great God. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I want to bless your name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, Barak. Yes. I, I, I'm, look at the book of, uh, read, read the book of uh, uh, Judges 5. You see what Deborah did. Caesarea. She, he was getting his power from the moon, from the sun. And the woman went and attacked those powers. Yes, my son William, thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. How are you? Ha! <sighs> God is God. I'm telling you that when you are surrounded by witchcraft, you don't have to fear. Attack their powers. Attack their sources of powers. Destroy them. Ask the Holy Ghost the fire to burn them to ashes. Because the, the, the Bible says God will raise up the whole spirit against them. The whole spirit of God is there. He will go and destroy the activities. God is a consuming God, a fire. God himself, personally, God is, the Bible says, God himself is a consuming fire. Ask him permission. Ask God, God, I know you are a consuming fire. Here I am surrounded by which your word says that servant them not to live. Servant, let, let, servant which not to live. Therefore, I am surrounded by witchcraft right now. Consuming fire from your mouth, consume them. You will see how God will rise up and consume them. This is what it is. When you are surrounded by witchcraft, what to do? You don't have to run and watch and see they destroy you. They are destroying, the Bible says they are destroying nations. If you look at the book of Nahum, you see what they are, they are doing. Look at the book of, of, of Revelation. He has swallowed nations. He's operating all over now. But children of God, they are, with, they are watching and being destroyed by wish. They are luring, they are taking everything from us. So we take authority. We take authority by raising a banner, by raising a strong prayer warrior that will face them without fear. This is the woman, Deborah, prophetess Deborah. When Barak says, Deborah, you, I can't go by myself. The men were putting their feet, their hands on their on their on, on, on their legs. They could not go. They just followed the woman. The woman said, "Okay, don't worry. I'm here with you. Like me, I'm here for you. If you are being attacked by witchcraft, call me and give your your your, your offering. You see how I'm going to attack that witchcraft. People, you don't need to suffer. Deborah, she didn't wait." She knew how to, how to attack that powers of witchcraft. The man died like a chicken. A woman killed her, Jerry. Killed that man with a hammer. Look at that Bible. You read the Bible. You recite it. I'm, I've given you. It's the book of Churches 5 and 6. Look at that what the woman did. Deborah composed the song and thank God and sing the song because uh, that woman killed the, killed, killed, killed the enemy who was destroying them. God is God. We need to, we need to, to stand up. We need to stand, we need to raise our prayer, prayer. We have to pray. If it is fasting, we will fast until we see that they are defeated. If they can fast for us, and destroy us. What about us? They, they just fast. They, they worship the idols. Fasting for their idols. Sacrifice. They sacrifice a lot. Don't think that this they work free. When they want to destroy you, they go and sacrifice. It is they are a counterfeit. But you, child of God, you don't want to do that. Hallelujah. When the witchcraft wants to destroy the nation, destroy people, they sacrifice big. They give their, they, that's why they need a lot of blood to sacrifice to their gods, to so that their gods will obey and do what they want. And we children of God, we don't do that. Go to give your sacrifice and see if that witchcraft will continue witching you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. 
Lord, I want to thank you. I pray that God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, every witchcraft materials, every witchcraft materials he pro programmed in your life, I destroy them. Every power of witchcraft, I destroy them. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I command fire and the hand of God to locate them wherever they are. If they are meeting, I destroy them. I command them to die. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. I am sending fire of God to burn them wherever they are. In the mighty name of Jesus, glorious God, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name. I give you all the glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I cast them. I cast them and I render them powerless. I am sending the fire of God to consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, my Father, I want to thank you. I am praying for you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I surround you with the precious blood of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I lift up your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. This is your host, Prophetess, Dr. Christine Singh, saying say bye-bye to you. Bye-bye. God bless you. Tomorrow we are on. We, are, we will continue tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow midnight, midnight, 12 midnight, we have five. Yes, Maria, thank you so much. We have five, five, four nights. So tomorrow we, we, we will be on again. Thank you very much for coming. If you need me to pray for you, my number is 647-608-5207. Or you can reach me by email, overcomersdhm at gmail.com. You can also reach us through our run line, 905-487-487. 196 or you can go to our website www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca there is a lot of prayers go to the last the first one we started with there is a lot of prayers that would help you there is prayer called activate uh deliverance prayer uh for poverty activators and the cars to break the cars so if you want to destroy the poverty of uh, the, 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 the poverty activators and the curses, go to that video. Listen and follow the prayer, the prayer there. God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a night, a good night or a good morning, wherever your time it is. I'm saying bye-bye to you. I love you so much. There's nothing I can do about it. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.